Today, we're going to talk about Brad, a walker that is pure genius. <laughs> Excellent. Come inside. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Okay, Brad, today, as we mentioned already, we gave a little teaser. We're going to talk about the Hugo four-wheeled walker, and we've got some surprises here. Yeah, this is a design that I've never seen before, and we don't promote products unless we really like them, and right. we really like this. This is an engineering wonder. So we're going to start off by showing some of the features here, and let's go ahead and get sure, started. You bet. The first one is just to show you how easily this folds up. This is the what I call the one finger fold. You take one finger, boom. Now lift it up. And uh, well, there's a little clip here too, Brad, that oh. you can clip around. Uh, to oh, to it hold together. it. Yeah, to sure. hold it together. Yeah, let's get it so they can see that right and there. Right. Then you can lift it up with one hand. All aluminum construction on the frame, very well built on that frame. I'm really happy with that. All right, the second feature, Brad, I'll have you handle that, is this thing actually converts to a transport chair. Sure. Which this. is, this is the most amazing, amazing part of it. So are you getting all this, Lonnie, by the way? Okay. So you're talking right. about the wheelchair aspect? Yeah, the wheelchair, the <laughs> yeah. transport chair. Right. So this way, can, uh, it's a walker. It's a walker, okay. right? Okay. But if you want to convert it to a wheelchair, actually it is in the wheelchair position already, Bob. Oh, it is? Yeah. Well, not completely. Right. But, uh, Look at that. There we go. That was the walker position. Right. So if you want to sit down when you're walking, we've got the hand brakes. We can sit and relax on a real nice backrest. And, sure. but sure. Go, go ahead and try and push me around, Bob. This is what normal chairs are like, and it, you really can't do it. It gets in the way. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, yeah. maybe if you're married. But <laughs> this design, you flip this over, and it becomes a wheelchair. Well, show the leg rest. Bro. Yeah, I'm getting to a Bob. Oh, you are. Hold on, hold on. Look at this. Because if you have someone that needs, has weak legs, and you want to get them up, you know, and their legs do not get up because they're a little weak or they have some issues, look at this. They got detented clips here. They lock in very easily. Put the feet up here. These are adjustable. No, no wrench is needed. You just squeeze here. Look at that. Three different positions. I am a little taller, so I think I'll adjust both down to the lowest leg. Oh, that fits perfect. Excellent. All right. Go ahead, Bob. Give me a little push. And now it's just like having a regular wheelchair. This and is this is really we'll nice. We'll talk about why this is, would be the advantages with certain people. Sure. Um, now the other thing what, what Brad is showing here when you lock this here is there's actually some little platforms here that you can push off of sure. when, you, when you're going to get up. Right. So, so we always tell people as therapists, you know, reach yeah. back for wherever you're going to sit on so you don't plop into the chair. Okay. So right here we got kind of mini armrests, and you can lower yourself in. And there you go. Right. Now the third feature is also one that I think is one of the most critical, Brad. Um, on an, a, a, you know, one of these walkers, the, the old walkers. Stan standard four-wheel yeah, walker. Yeah, if you're trying to, we did a whole video on how to adjust the brakes. Right. And Brad showed it because Brad's very mechanical. I still don't remember how you did it. <laughs> I mean, it's very difficult. It's not very difficult. If you it's very good, difficult. if you're good with the wrenches or something, yeah. you know, get get some handy person. You usually need a wrench or some pliers, though. But show them on this one, Brad. Do you want to sure? Let, flip let's, it? Yeah, let's let's just bring them right up here. Okay. Here they've got a plastic. Let's say self sliding ratchet, so you push in so that it interlocks, and then you just turn it like this, and it turns real easy. You can go either so direction. It, so make it tighter or looser. Exactly. Um, if the if the uh, cable does stretch too much and you overdo that, then you can readjust that some more with some wrenches, but I don't think you'll need to. This really takes care of that. And I've already worked with them and it, it works really nice. I've adjusted it too loose and I readjusted it all right here with my fingers. That's a huge feature because yeah. these, these brakes, what we have found in a lot of these cheaper chairs or cheaper walkers is that they, they seem to come loose all the time. Well, the cable stretch, yeah. and that's just a normal function of cables. So I don't know if that necessarily means they're cheaper, but... It happens. Yeah, it so always it. happens, it's, and uh, this makes it easier to adjust. The other thing, Bob, I really wanted to point out was, watch this. In a normal wheelchair, when you flip out the leg rest, this is what happens. They always get in the way. You right. go through a door, 
and they bump into things. And here, look at this. It's very compact. Compact, yeah. and the width is, and that it's, is a. It's out of the way, and it's locked in now. Yep, and that is a major yeah. functional progress. You know, I'd like to see that option. on wheelchairs. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. so. we always have that bumping into the walls and getting through doorways. By the way, Brad and I should qualify ourselves. I mean, we've worked with hundreds of probably four wheel walkers and walkers. Right. I mean, we're, we're working with these all the time with, with our, our patients. So the, the next feature we'll go to, Brad, is the very large wheels. Mm -hmm. I mean, as we'll talk about later, comparing to another walker, these wheels are so critical, especially when you go outdoors. Sure. I mean, when you got the smaller wheels, you're just running into problems. Mm -hmm. Everything's solid and everything's, uh, you know, you're running into trying to get up over ledges right. and stuff. So right. really nice rubber, large wheels. Um, comfortable handles. Any oh, comments, Brad? Yeah, those are really nice. I mean, usually most of them have like like this is this is not a bad four wheeled walker, and it's got handles that that are nice, but these are cushioned and even more ergonomically for, designed. Yeah, for, you know, form from the hand. Yep. You know what what we have found with a lot of people, we've had to take lamb's wool and wrap it around sometimes. Sure. And with these, these are already nice and comfortable, so that mm -hmm. that issue won't be uh, addressed. They've thought about everything. Um, this was very easily assembly. Um, there was basically, two, you had to put these two knobs on to help to adjust the handles. Right. So, and that, that was very easy. You had to put two bolts in here, and they gave a wrench along with that. Right. And an Allen wrench and a wrench to, to put that on. And then you had to put the two leg rests on. Yep. That was it. Piece of cake. So, it, you know, it came like, like this. Right. You know, so the, the other thing the I, I thought was really neat, Bob, why don't you have a seat in there? Bob, how tall are you? I'm six foot six. Six foot six, and he sits down, and it fits him quite well. Yep. Okay, and we could, you know, push you around, and we could put this. Let's put the leg rest put up. Put the leg I'm rest busy. out. There we it go. It fits me really well. Mm -hmm. Now, on the other hand, Lonnie, do you want to come out here? Yeah, let's get we, Lonnie we, here. We've got someone who is five foot two, and we'll put her in the same chair. Go ahead, I'm not going to take the time to flip that out right now. And, and Lonnie. it still fits her reasonably well. I mean, that's a big contrast. Can you lift your feet up? There you go. And that one. There you go. The, the other thing is, is, if you're trying to get over a threshold, I hope we see this, there's a little foothold here so that you can push down and you can just... Get yeah, a that's little, a big feature. You can just get a little weight off of the front. If you're going over a small threshold, then you can bump over that. And that's a nice little feature to have. It's not a major deal, but it's nice. All right, Lonnie, get out of here. <laughs> Be nice, What are you Bob. doing here? <laughs> <laughs> all right. The, the brakes, like all of them, push down, and then they lock in a lock right. mode, or uh, you can do them. Nice padded backrest. Mm-hmm. Uh, padded seat. Right. It's got a little, would you call that a cooler, Brad? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, when you're from Wisconsin, you got to have a place, if you're going to the Packer game, where you could put your beverages right in there. And that is removable. It removes quite easily, actually, if you do not want to have that. There you go. And then you have open space for your legs if you wanted it. And uh, the final thing they gave us, which I thought was kind of cool, they gave us some, oh, you guys hit my cards. Uh, they gave you along some cards that you're supposed to carry with you because everybody that sees this is going to want to buy one. Right. So they're gonna, you can hand these out to people as He's you walk around. He's a marketing so. businessman. Yeah, there is one more thing, Bob. I, oh, I, did I miss something? Well, this is a small oh, thing. Oh, they got for, some reflectors on the back, yeah, too. Yeah, reflectors on the back. They did take the time oh, for all the little things. Yep. And I took the time to look at the wheels and the bearings of the wheels because to me, the wheels are critical in how long this is going to last. And not just the wheels, but how they make the bearings, they're ball bearings, and they're not only ball bearings, and they're not shielded, but they're sielded. So that means they're sealed against the weather, and that's a step up from shielded, that's which- high end. Right, which is, a, which is one step up, which a standard one, like this particular one here, is shielded. They do not hold up in the weather as well, so this is just better for outdoors even. All right, just real quickly, Brad, who is, who is the type of patient that's gonna need this? This is a, for example, my mother. Right. She can That's walk. That's who's going to get this one, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> she can walk here to the car, but if she's going to go to the park and she wants to walk some distance, she's going to need to sit down because she gets short of breath and she doesn't have the endurance. Those are the perfect people. They're 
functional with walking, but they can't and walk let's, very let's far. Let's include my mother, since you talked about your mother. My mother has uh, back surgery, or had back surgery, and she can only walk so far before she starts getting pain in sure. her leg. Yep. So she she can actually walk for a while, then she could actually sit yep. and take the, a, a rest, or she could have someone push her. Sure. Like if you're at an appointment and you're, or you're going to a long distance, Perfect. or if you're at the grocery, grocery shopping, which of course yep, comes exactly. up quite often. So the fatigue person, you're going to want to get one for your parents. You're going to want to come on, no dig deep, and buy one, Brad. Cause he uh, is really the marketing. <laughs> He's the business guy. I'm thinking, yeah, this um, is built the well. The other thing which a lot of people do, by the way, Brad, is they use this to move around the house. Mm -hmm. they, they sit in it, and they just use their legs to propel themselves around the house. And they don't have to worry about falling. So that, yep, you can flip that up. Get those out of the way. And, and, and this is where you might remove that basket because you can pedal. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people that like that. So, all right, let's get into the dimensions, Brad. Okay. I actually weighed this thing with the leg rests on. Okay. I put it on my scale. It was about 20 to 21 pounds. Yep. So very light. I, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how um, I put this into the car, by the way. Oh, yeah. how easily it went. Mm -hmm. um, we also, the height of the patient uh, can go from five feet all the way up to six foot two. It's pretty close for me, Brad. I'm six foot six. Right. This is about not bad. I, right. I, maybe an inch higher yep. would have to be. Mm -hmm. So it's got really a wide range. The height of the walker is, well, it depends on where you got the, the, the arm rest right here. adjusted. <laughs> How much is that? 37 inches. 37, and that's what they said, 37 yeah. and a half, mm -hmm. uh, thir down to 30. Well, I got my glasses off. Okay. The <laughs> height of the seat is 20 inches. Yep. The inside of the width is 19.5. Okay. Okay, <laughs> the outside width is 27 inches, right. and the length is, I can't read my own writing, I think it's 25 inches. Do the length, Brad. Yeah, well, it depends which way the wheels are. If yeah. we're going maximum, we're going, actually, that's 31. And I if the wheels was, are turned oh, you know in. What? I think it was 28 is what yeah. it was supposed to be. Yep, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there you go. So, um, go ahead. We're, we're becoming a big Hugo fan with this. Yeah. Uh, at the end of this uh, video again want to watch me putting this into the car so that uh, you can show how easy that you can see how easy that is to right. do that. Bob's got so. some nice tricks on that and we don't know what the price of this is but I'm sure it's going to be more than a standard one That's, but you're getting a lot more. Right and you want to go to HugoAnywhere.com uh, I'll put the website down below I hope I said that right if it's not right it'll be right below right. and I'll have it throughout the video mm -hmm. so for you to watch. All right. All right thanks a lot. Good luck.